Cellular respiration and pulmonary respiration are two essential processes in the physiology of living organisms, but they serve distinctly different functions. Understanding these differences is key to grasping how organisms harness and utilize energy, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. Cellular respiration is a biochemical process that occurs at the cellular level in almost all cells of organisms. This process is crucial for converting nutrients into ATP, the primary energy currency of the cell. It involves a series of metabolic pathways, including glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation. During glycolysis, glucose is broken down into pyruvate, releasing a small amount of energy. In the presence of oxygen, pyruvate enters the mitochondria where the Krebs cycle occurs, producing electron carriers. These carriers then donate electrons to the electron transport chain, leading to the creation of a large amount of ATP. This process also generates byproducts such as carbon dioxide and water. Cellular respiration is not limited to the lungs or respiratory organs, but takes place in the cells of various tissues throughout the body. In contrast, pulmonary respiration refers to the physical act of breathing, which is central to the respiration system in animals, particularly in mammals. This process involves the inhalation of oxygen from the environment and the exhalation of carbon dioxide, a waste product of cellular respiration. The primary organs involved are the lungs, which facilitate the exchange of gases. When air is inhaled, it passes through the respiratory tract, reaching the alveoli in the lungs. Here, oxygen diffuses into the blood, while carbon dioxide diffuses out to be exhaled. Pulmonary respiration is crucial for maintaining the oxygen and carbon dioxide balance in the blood, ensuring that cells receive enough oxygen for cellular respiration, and that carbon dioxide does not accumulate to toxic levels. The relationship between cellular and pulmonary respiration is symbiotic. Pulmonary respiration supplies oxygen to the blood, which is then transported to cells for use in cellular respiration. The cellular respiration process, in turn, produces carbon dioxide, which is carried back to the lungs to be expelled through pulmonary respiration. This interdependence highlights the importance of both processes in maintaining homeostasis and energy balance in the body. But as previously mentioned, cellular respiration is a chemical process that occurs at the cellular level to produce energy while pulmonary respiration is a physical process involving the respiratory system to exchange gases with the environment. Both are critical to the survival of organisms, with cellular respiration providing the energy needed for various biological functions and pulmonary respiration ensuring a constant supply of oxygen and the removal of carbon dioxide. Understanding these processes and their relationship is fundamental to the study of biology and medicine. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. There should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.